If you're running into issues with custom frames in Canva, I just created a whole tutorial how you can make custom frames in Figma and bring them over to Canva. But the most basic of custom frames, a rectangle, actually is seen differently by Canva. Anything that's rectangular in shape, Canva sees as a photo that is just a photo. It doesn't have a photo attached to it, making it a frame. So when I right click, there's no way to delete out this uh, sample checkerboard image. And if I press the delete key, it just deletes the photo itself. There's a simple fix for this. So if you go over to Figma and you're working on uh, some frames, some custom frames, first off, a quick tip, you can press the F key. That's to create a frame in Figma, which is different than a frame in Canva. I know it's a little confusing. However, you can think of it as like an artboard. So a frame in Figma is like an artboard. And here on the right hand side, we can actually define the, per the exact height and width of our frame. And so, or I'm just going to call it an artboard for you. So we created an artboard that's 1080 by 1080, which is the same size as our Canva document that I just had open, like a social media post in square format. Now, what we can do here to create rectangular frames is to create a rectangle. And that is the R key on your keyboard. It's also up here, the rectangle tool. And so the reason I create this artboard is because we can just click and drag to create a rectangle and it can be whatever ratio size we want and we can bring it in here and kind of see what that's going to look like in our design before we actually export this rectangle as a custom frame. Now if I go ahead and click on this rectangle and I come over here to the fill and I turn it into a photo which is where that checkerboard pattern comes from, I could then hit export, make sure it's a PDF, that's the only way for this to work, and then I can export that rectangle. Now I'm going to export this as a as rectangle, well I'm just going to call it rectangle 15 so that it doesn't save over the top of any other rectangles I've saved. Then I'm going to go back over to Figma and this is the process here. You would upload this and you would bring in rectangle 15 and I just want to show you that this doesn't work. I know I got this far and this is the one that doesn't work but I can drag this rectangle in and scale it down and I believe I dragged the I don't know if I dragged the wrong one or made it the background on accident. Basically, I just need this rectangle in here. And obviously, actually, you can see how it's messing up already. It's like made it a square, and I can't actually detach the background. So there's a few things that are weird with it, because Canva sees perfect rectangles as like an image and not something that could be a frame. So what you have to do is very, very simple and actually super easy. Back over in Figma, once you get this size the way you want, all you need to do is come outside the edge and rotate it ever so slightly. Doesn't need to be anything crazy, just, just do a little quick rotation like this, let go, export this rectangle. And what happens is that changes the dimensions to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this as rotated. That changes the dimensions to be not a perfect rectangle. And Canvas sees it differently now. For whatever reason, either the uh, PDF is created different or Canva imports it differently. Something happens that Canva says, okay, this is this is a frame with, a, with an image attached to it. So I'm going to grab that rotated rectangle and then we're going to see it come in here. And once we have this in here, we can actually click and drag it out. And now nothing weird happens, first off. Second off, you can right click on this and detach the image or just click on this and press the delete key one time and that will take it back to being a frame. Now, this keeps the dimensions of your rectangle. So like this rectangle can be sized up and down uh, from the corner and it won't change its dimensions or its ratio or resolution. I'm looking for a word, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like it stays the same size even though I can resize it a little bit. I can still fit it back to how it looked in the Figma document. But this rotate button down here you can actually rotate this back to zero and it kind of clicks into place and you can see the zero on the cursor there. So now we have the exact frame we had created over in Figma. We can kind of use it to scale it up and down. It keeps the proportions of the width and the height together so we can place this in here. And I mean, it's really quick and easy to make these custom frames and I can bring in imagery and just drop them into the frame. You know it's a frame based on the 
green grassy fields and the little cloud in the sky. And so all you have to do over in Figma, which by the way is free software, I'll put a link down below, is just rotate it. It doesn't even matter how much you rotate it, just rotate it a little bit and that will fix any issues you have with rectangular, custom rectangular frames over in Canva. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. Hopefully this helped. I saw a few questions on my original custom frames tutorial about this situation, and I just hadn't even tried a rectangle frame. I was trying all these different complex shapes to make sure they worked, but I hadn't tried a basic rectangle. And this is how you can do it very easily over from Figma to Canva. And this is a quick fix for any issues you have with, uh, with custom frames in Canva.